Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. I bring you guys a brand new video today, and today we've got a great one for you guys. I think you guys are gonna love this one. Pokemon Unite action here. There's a few updates I'm gonna cover, and then you guys are gonna enjoy this crazy commentary. It was so fun. I think you guys are gonna really love it. First and foremost, a couple things I just wanna point out. We got a new Greninja Hollow Wear skin that just dropped today. It's this one right here. He's got his little outfit on. You know, he looking like he's ready for the beach. Beach. So if you guys want to drop 350, uh, you know, little paid tokens or whatever, you can pick up this awesome Hollow Wear from Greninja. So that's available right now. They also finally fixed. I should say finally. It's been like two days. I can't be mad about him. Gengar's Hex was bugged. It's now fixed. So now you can use Gengar without having the, the Hex bug, which is really, really nice. And for those of us in Masters... Uh, which I did post my Masters video yesterday where I got to Masters with Crustle. If you're in Masters, if you notice when you win a game, you really weren't gaining a ton of points. And when you lose a game, you were losing a ton of points. So ranking, it was like you had to have like an 80% win rate to even go anywhere in Masters. It's like impossible to climb at this point. They changed the way that ELO system works. I haven't tried it yet because I, I just got on my PC, but that's something to make note of. The last thing and what this video is all about is spectator mode. I need you guys to take a second, hit that like button down below, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for Pokemon Unite content, but if you guys did not know, you can actually do spectator mode, which is really, really cool. So, okay, so I'm really confused. I was going to show you spectator mode in this, but it's gone. I don't know why it's gone, but I did it for the video, so you'll see it. But there was a spectator mode. Maybe they turned it off because there were some bugs right now, but between mail and settings, there was an option to spectate your friend. So... My man Austin John Plays was playing a game. I hopped in, I did spectator mode with him, and I did an esports style commentary for it. I kind of showed off how a spectator mode works. It's honestly really, really sick. And I gotta say that they dropped spectator mode even though it's gone now. I don't, I'm very confused why it's gone. Even though they dropped spectator mode and it's gone, they have spectator mode in this game, and Sword and Shield doesn't have it. It's been out for two years. So take note of that, baby. Game Freak, where you at? But ultimately, watch this esports style commentary. It starts off a little kind of uh, funny because I was just getting started, but I think it was a ton of fun. I think you guys are going to really enjoy it, and I think it's just uh, the tip of the iceberg of what this game has to offer in terms of Pokemon competitive esports commentary and much, much more. If you guys think I should be a commentator, you let me know in the comment section below. Enjoy the video. Get that Greninja Hollow if you like throwing your money at the screen, and enjoy the rest of the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I stream Unite every day. Come to my streams. Twitch.tv slash Adrive. Enjoy. I got my uh, foot pedal mute button now, so... Oh, you do? Yeah. So how do I how do I spectate, guys? If I wanted to spectate Austin... Oh, there it is. Spectate. Uh, top ranking trainers. Friends. Oh, it'll only... Oh, standard. There we go. I'm going to spectate your game. And we're going to commentate oh, it like great. we're pro esports here. <laughs> <laughs> like we're pro esportsers. Pro esportsers here. I'm a pro uh, esportser. Yeah, I got a, I got a real, real not great level. This. Why are we playing standard? Calm down, Los. We just started the stream, dog. <laughs> Y'all need to take a pill of chill right now. I knew Dan was esports. What's up, Monk? You want to be carried by Monkaloid? Monkaloid will put us in his backpack. Yo, Skywalker, thanks for the uh, Prime Day. I mean, like, Go! Sing for a team battle is, like, so OP. Oh, I want to... How do I skip to, to, to now? Oh, yeah, you're you're a bit behind there. <laughs> I see you were AFK for a while. Yeah, I DC'd. Push Y. I'm doing it. Austin making really big plays here in lane. As you can see, taking the strategy of not engaging as to not feed the enemy team. His XP is going up right now. He is about to hit Wigglytuff any second now. This is the high quality plays you want to see. We see the Absol rotating mid right now, playing that jungle. Slowbro getting some big scores up top. Gets a big score, but the Austin's team takes the lead and Austin John is rolling in the deep right now with his Wigglytuff, pushing up top lane. Going to go for a big... Defense curl into the Cramorant, but Cramorant is level six right now. And with that slow bro there, this could be a very tough engagement for Austin John Plays. Picking up both Citrus Berries. I think at this point, it's best that he goes in farms, but his jungler did come up. Cramorant is there to defend the lane. Whirlpool comes off. Slow bro hits it. And we're going to see a couple misses on that pound attack. Also going to farm the core fish. How do I switch perspective? I don't know. Oh, there we go. Taking a look at bottom lane here, we see Ninetales, Sercho just put in some nice points. Frogadier with that uh, score shield there, 
putting in a nice chunk of points as well, taking a solid 14 point lead. The Zero Aura is being pressured on point. Ninetales is actually gonna rotate up, grab the berry and pressure Zero Aura, pushing him all the way back down his lane. Frogadier gonna return back to base, heading back. Let's take a look in on Gibble here, farming these Bufalons. Our jungle Garchomp here, very strong. He seems to have taken a break to go stop and grab some Lunchables as well. Peaky in top lane with Austin John going for a big sing. Will he land the sing? He did land the sing on the sleeping Cramorant, but Cramorant gonna go for his eject button and get right back to base. Peeking in down bottom here, we're gonna start to see the fight for Dreadnought. Absol on the opposing team gets murked from that incredible avalanche play. And we're gonna see if Sercho and Lucerna are gonna go for the Dreadnought ultimately. Seems like they started to engage with it, but ultimately making very bad plays and walking away from the Dreadnought, despite the fact that they clearly could have taken it with no problem. Zero Aura looks like he's sitting, gets picked out by that Snow Warning. Huge engagement taking place at bottom. Big steal from Sercho, but they are not going to engage in this fight. They're actually returning back. And now we have a full health Dreadnought. We see the Absol on the other team starting to attack it solo right now. Bentley doing big things, but he's sitting at half health. This is gonna be a really big engagement here for Blue Team. Blue Team's Frogadier goes down. Ninetales goes for a big ult and is going to take down the Zero Aura. What a play, a two piece from Sercho. Massive plays as Orange takes the lead here in this match. Incredible, incredible. Austin John making a good rotation down bot, trying to help out, clean up these bees. Vespa Queen, Combi, of course, providing a ton of support for the team in terms of XP and leveling. Absol seems to be pushing back up really committed to trying to deal with this Dreadnought here. However, I don't know if Bentley realized this, but he is in a 3v1 situation and it is not looking good. Austin John's Wigglytuff puts on the pressure and they are gonna pick up the KO. Dreadnought sitting at half health and nine tails and the Greninja and the Wigglytuff are putting in the pressure and they are getting that XP buff plus shields that they can now rotate bottom and take control of bottom lane. Incredible plays there from the team. Honestly, just a really, really garbage tier play from Bentley here. I don't know what he was thinking, and he is just gonna charge back in with his Zero Aura, trying to feed the other team here. They've got a 3v1 on point two. We're gonna see that Zero Aura start to get shredded. Big Wigglytuff sing there, and Zero Aura is forced to retreat again. Austin John knows that that is not something he should be pushing. He is gonna full, fall back here. He sees a double engagement in front of him. Can he hit the launch pad out? No, he cannot. He is trapped by Cramorant and Slowbro. Slowbro hits a big telekinesis on Austin John. He is going to sing his way out of there. What an escape from the newly buffed Wigglytuff. Incredible. Greninja and Ninetales are putting on pressure on Zero Aura down bot. Will they be able to put on enough? Water Shuriken coming in. Big smoke screen. Is that going to be enough from the Greninja? No. But they are going to take control of bottom lane very effectively. Peeking on Austin John plays here. Looking up top with a very big missed Dazzling Gleam. We saw that, Austin. We saw that. He's gonna go back to base to get his health back to full. And we see a lot of congregating in mid here with about two minutes until Zapdos spawns. We're gonna see how that plays out. But we see the pressure from Greninja on bottom, pushing that Zero Aura once again. When will he learn? He probably won't. Big sneak from behind. Slowbro putting in 40. Crab cannot stop it. That is massive. We have ourselves a tie game. Purple and orange tied at 182 apiece with a minute and 40 seconds until Zapdos spawns. 23 until Dreadnought comes back up. Big telekinesis from that. Here comes the double pylon onto Kramer and they're gonna get a nice Pick there, Cramorant doing work, and of course Slowbro, so incredibly bulky, able to utilize that telekinesis to suspend their enemies into the air and ultimately finish them off. You love to see it. We're gonna see the Absol trying to sneak in some scores here. Big scores coming in from Slowbro, and they can actually break bottom point here. Big push coming in from Purple. They lose their bottom point though, which is gonna make this Dreadnought fight exponentially harder, and I think Cramorant might be up to no good here. Farming the bottom. Dreadnought right now has it about 50% that Slowbro is doing an incredible job distracting the Greninja and the Ninetales, allowing the Cramorant to solo the Dreadnought. This is an incredible play. You gotta love the strategy. He is baiting them completely away from the objective. Will anyone be able to stop this Cramorant from solo taking the Dreadnought here? It looks like he's gonna get this for free, and he does a huge play there from Cramorant, taking advantage. We see Garchomp here engaging with that Wigglytuff, trying to take down that Bufalon, ultimately farming in mid. Cramorant is about to walk in a massive 50-point score, and no one is there to touch him. 
What a play from TSM Juice Box. You've seen them. Totally not actually on TSM, but they are doing work today. And they took that Dreadnought on their own, getting this huge XP buff, massive shields for the team. We're gonna see the opposing teams Kramer and also try to engage, but we see a big ulti there. This could be mayhem. Oh my God, the three piece from Cramorant. He gets the two, the Greninja actually gets away, so not quite a three piece there. But now we are headed to the main fight for Zapdos. We got ourselves a close game. This is really anyone's game. Cramorant sneaking in some big scores here. Big 58 from Cram, and Absol is soloing Zapdos right now. This game is not over, ladies and gentlemen, even though Orange has just taken the lead. This is still incredibly close. We see bottom lane taken from both teams. Top lane is identical, symmetrical on both sides. Bentley knows he has to step away because he does not have enough health to engage this Zapdos, but he is free pickings right now. Slowbro's coming in to, to aid. We've got Wigglytuff with a super crazy Bush Sing right there. They have officially trapped the Slowbro. Big damage there. Can Wiggly hold this Slowbro? I don't know if he has enough damage output to take it. And it seems like Blue is dealing with Zapdos now. They've got two incredible ranged attackers dealing the damage right now. Greninja, Ninetales, and now Garchomp coming in. Well fed from the jungle. Continuously taking on Crawdaunt because why would you focus on the objective? That's definitely not the play. Wigglytuff holding it down on right hand side. Needs to get back to base, does not have a lot of health. Will Zara or see it? This is gonna be a fight, and Purple Team takes the Zapdos with an incredible steal. All they have to do is walk these points in, and they will take this big W. Gotta show the love to the Wigglytuff who held down that middle lane choke point there the entire time of that Zapdos fight. Nine Tails and Greninja continuously chipped away. Garchomp finally chose to engage there at the last second, and we see that big Zapdos. This is still anybody's game, but we're gonna see the Ninetales put those points in. We got about a 130 point lead here. A big fight taking place on base. There's only 15 seconds left, and all they need to do is cover that top lane. Garchomp, for some reason, decides to jump pad elsewhere with just nine seconds left. I think this one's in the books. Huge plays from Purple Team on this one. Austin John's Wigglytuff does work. Greninja, Cramorant, Garchomp, and Ninetales seal the deal there in our first Pokemon Unite esports commentary. Yeah, remind me not to do that when I'm sick. <laughs> there goes my voice. Uh, normally when you commentate, you have someone commentating with you. Um, you ready to just hop in? <laughs> yeah. Okay.